Hello everybody, welcome back to Just Computer Service on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to migrate a hard drive to your Proxmox server. I'm going to be using for this progress file sale client and StarWin Converter. We're going to be using StarWin to convert the drive into a different format and send that format to the Proxmox server using file sale client. So let's get that started. I'm going, uh, before I begin anything else, I am going to add that drive to this virtual machine that I have on, on my Proxmox server. So let's just get started. First, I'm going to see a screen to convert it. So I am going to open this program. Now, another note is this program and this one as well, both of these programs are actually free to use. This is our cell client. I will be leaving the download description for both of them. And this is the converter. To get the converter, you just need to make an account. You'll get an email sent with the download link to download this program. Very useful and very easy, very easy to use. Nothing difficult. Now from here, back to the program. Now from here, um, all you need to do is locate file. We're going to browse for the image. Now so let's click here in the three dots. In my case, it's at the desktop, so I'm going to click desktop. All right, search for it. It should be in here. Empty drive, here we go. I am using a small drive for the example because basically there's nothing in it. You convert it very fast. So um, it says tw size is 12, that's okay. Now you just click next. Now you're going to pick local file because we want the destination to be on the machine and not a server or hypervisor or any of these for this for this example. Now I'm just going to click on next. From here, I am going to select the format that Promox support. I know it supports camo and image slash raw, so I am going to choose this one since it has worked for me in the past. So next. Now from here, we're just going to go ahead and convert it. Like convert. Since it's a small drive, it's just it's supposed to be very fast. But depending on how big your drive is, this might take a couple of hours. Okay. Once it's done, you you'll get the pop up of the website every time you do a complete conversion. Just minimize that hours. Just close it out. So close it. Now from here, it's just gonna finish. I'm not gonna do any anymore. And we can see here that we have it in image format. Now we're going to open file server client. And we're going to connect to our Provox server. So in our case on how to use this, we would just need to let's see, put this up. We just need to put in host the IP of your Provox server. Copy that up. Paste it here. Now the username, in my case, I am using the root user. And you put in the password that you have set previously for this. And you put the port number, we're going to be connecting by SFTP. So 22 and click connect, click connect. And there we have it. For those of you that have never used FileZilla, the left side is your computer's documents, and the right side is the remote side, in this case, the Promox server. Here you can see your desktop, your documents, just click documents, and you can see what you have here. Same with all the other stuff here. So in my case, we wanna go all the way back, and we want to look for a folder that's called images because that's where this will be. And we're only going to be using one command to import that virtual drive to this server or virtual machine. Click here. From here, you're going to find bar. And from bar, you're going to find lib. And from lib, you're going to find bc. And from bc, you're going to click images. You can also click here. Basically, it's the same if you have a preference. Images. And here we are. We're now in images. Now, I already have one here that I did previously. Now, I'm just going to do is minimize this. 
take the image I have here, and basically just drag and copy right here. Now you can see there is copying. Now it says, personally, it's going to take at least two minutes to copy that to the server. Now I'm going to just go ahead and wait for that. I'm going to take a little pause here. I'm going to fast forward. See you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, it's finished. As you can see here, the drive has been complete, completed and imported to the Proxmox server. Now, all that we need to do is now is go back to the Proxmox server. We're going to open up our shell. Shell. Okay, there we go. And now from here, all that we're going to do is we're going to take that drive and we're going to import it so it appears here because right now as you can see it's not here and we want to add it there to that to that virtual machine that i have set up so in my case the number for the virtual machine would be 110 so to import that drive all that we need to do is put in the the command qm import this now i want to import it to the virtual machine would be 110 so in here we would put number 110 and we're going to select the file from the location. In this case, would be the location from here, barlib vc images, and you're going to put the name of the drive, which would be this one in this case. So you're going to put it like this: space, space bar, space lib, space vc, space images. And from here, you're going to put the name of the of the image. In my case, it would be t drive dot image and we want to place that image in local cfs so space local cfs and now we just click enter and it's going to show us the transferring okay i think i could get an error in my car Okay, there we go. Okay, it has been imported successfully. Now you can see here this is unused this. Now all you need to do in this part is click on edit and you're going to just basically add it. You don't have to change anything here, just add and now it's going to be a hard drive. Okay, and here it is. And you have successfully added the hard drive. Okay, guys, well, that was it. I hope you guys found this easy enough to follow. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.